welcome. I'm Coach Tanya here at Critical Bench, and this video is progressive leg exercises for stroke recovery. Now, if you've had a stroke or maybe you know somebody that's had a stroke, what you know or maybe have experienced is that depending on the intensity or severity of a stroke, a lot of times people can lose mildly or a lot of their functions. And with that um, can come a lot of anxiety and fear about moving again. So it's, it's a bit of a process, um, but a lot of times exercise is really a great way to sort of start, you know, moving the body again, helping to activate that, you know, the transfer of messages just to get you back to as normal a movement or a way of moving as possible. So this video is a series of progressive leg exercises. It's going to help to build some strength. It's also going to help to increase confidence, especially when it comes to your stability and balance moving in your environment. Now, the exercises we're going to be doing are a single leg lift with a five second pause, supported heel raises, single knee lift with five second pause, active wall sits, single leg back kick with a five second pause, active wall ball squats, and clamshells. Now we're going to be going through this once. We're aiming for eight to 10 per side, but start from where you're at. You'll also need for this video, you're going to need a chair because we do, depending on where you're at, you might still need some support. So we don't want anybody falling over. Also, maybe you have, um, a spouse, a caretaker, somebody that's in the home with you, they make great support as well. So you can use a human being as your support. You're also going to need a Swiss ball, one of these things for one of the wall movements that we're going to be doing, okay? So we're gonna get started with this. Now we're gonna do this once through. Now my recommendation is once through, again, depending where you're at, once through is great. Start with once through. A lot of times after recovering from a stroke, people tire very quickly. So getting through this once might be just it, it for you the day. Now, as you get stronger, as you get more confident, as your balance and all those functions come back, um, I would definitely recommend go through it two or even three times. Okay. That's just the more times you do it, the more quickly you're going to feel like your old self again. So we're going to start with the single leg lift with a five second pause. So again, depending where you're at, Use a support if you're feeling rather strong, balanced, and you've got a lot of confidence, you can definitely do it without the support, but I still recommend having something with you. So we're just gonna lift the leg out in front of us and hold for five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. We're gonna do that seven more times. Five, four, three, two, one. You don't have to lift the leg high, just off the floor. Five, four, Three, two, one. <clears throat> Again, there's that shift in weight. Lift five, four, three, two, one. I've already lost count. I think this is five. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. If you need to take a longer pause in between, please do that. Reset, feel balanced. If you start to feel tired, sit down and then start again. Five, four, three, two, and one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I believe that was eight. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And it, it, might, it might be that one side was more affected by your stroke, so you may have better balance and stability on one side than the other, which is another reason why I really would like you to make sure you have something for support, okay? So here we go again. Now, the things we're paying attention to is there's that shift in weight, supporting all your body weight on one foot, just holding the foot slightly above the floor. We're not looking at height. We're just looking at balancing our weight with support on one leg for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, seven more times. I'll count this time. That's two for five, four, three, two, and one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is number five. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more. Five, four, three, 
two and one. Last time, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's take a quick break, 10 seconds, and we'll go into the next one. Okay, so let's go into our supported heel raises. Now again, if you don't have a chair, if you've got somebody, you can place your hands on their arms and they can support you. Um, and if, you, if you're feeling strong enough, stable enough and confident enough to do it without a support, that's great. But I still recommend having something in front of you in case you do lose your balance a little bit or you start to get tired. So we're gonna do eight supported heel raises. We're gonna do these slowly, okay? So just feet shoulder width apart. You can have a soft knee, hands just on the back of the chair or, or whatever you're using, and you're just gonna roll up onto the balls of your feet, lifting the heels, and then coming down, that's one. Nice and slow. Take a rest if you need it here. Come up. This isn't a race. You're working from where you're at, and you go as slowly as you need to because we're also working on building that confidence. We want you back moving around in your environment with confidence. That's three. Four. This is five. And six. Good work. And don't worry about how high you're coming up off your heels, just lift them. If, if this is what you can do and feel stable, then that's okay. If you can come higher, great. I think this was six. <sighs> Sorry. We'll do two more anyway, just to make sure we get eight in there. We'll call this seven. Last one. Here's eight. Slowly come back down and take your 10 second break. Okay, our next exercise is a single knee lift with a pause. So again, something for support, okay? Even if you don't need it, just have it there in case. So feet shoulder width apart, a soft knee is good. Lifting one knee for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. If you need to rest here for a little bit, that's fine. And I want to remind you while we're taking this rest, you don't have to lift your knee up high. This is not a lift, how high can you lift your knee challenge, okay? This is just getting your foot off the floor, lifting that knee. So let's do our second one. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. Again, five, four, three, two, one. If you need to reset your feet, go ahead and do that. Five, four, three, two, and one. This is number five. Five, four, three, two, and one. And six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one on this leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, this needs a little bit of a shake. I mean, same thing on the other side for eight. If you have to adjust your position, go ahead. Or if you want to move your support to the other side, go right ahead. I'm going to keep the chair right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Three more. 
five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take that 10 second break and we'll go right into the next exercise. Okay, for the next exercise, you're gonna need a wall or a flat, stable surface to lean against. I'm gonna move the chair out of the way here. These are called active wall sits. So we're gonna put our back against the wall. You wanna try to, you want to keep the back of the head, the shoulders, the hips connected to the wall. You wanna bring the feet out a little bit because we're gonna be sliding up and down slowly. Now again, for support, this is a little more difficult to do with a chair. You can do it with a chair. If I wanted to, I could have the chair in front of me with my hands on it. I think my knees might hit the back of it. So if you have somebody around who can hold their forearms out like this and allow you to place your hands on them, that will be some nice support. Just if you start to feel a little wobbly it gives you some confidence but for most individuals doing this exercise leaning against the wall gives them that all the support and confidence that they need so feet a little bit out you may have to stop and adjust your foot position and all you're going to do is with your back against the wall you're going to slide down to sitting and come up just like that so we're going to do eight of these that was one let's do seven more slide down and come up Slide down, come up. Nice strength building for those legs. That's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I, I went through those a little quickly. Feel free to pause the video, slow it down, and do it at your own pace, okay? Now let's take that 10 second break before we go into our single leg back kicks. This next exercise is a single leg back kick with a pause. It's not so much a kick, it's actually just the reverse of when we did the forward. Um, the first exercise, we lifted our leg off the floor in front of us. We're doing the same thing, but we're lifting the leg behind us. Again, you don't have to lift it high. We're gonna hold it for five seconds. We're gonna do eight on each side. Support, have some support. <laughs> I'm gonna turn and face the chair just so you can see a little better what I'm doing. And we're gonna, I'm gonna start with my left leg. I'm just gonna lift it up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Reset, again, five, four, three, two, one. Reset, five, four, three, two, one. Reset, five, four, three, two, one. Reset, five, four, three, two, one, reset. Okay, two more. Five, four, three, two, one, reset. Five, four, three, two, one, and reset. Okay, quick shake out. Do the same thing with the other leg for eight. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, reset. Five, four, three, two, one, reset. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. If you're getting tired, stop and rest. That's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Last three, here we go. Five, four, three, two, 
one, five, four, three, two, one. One more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good job. Take your 10 second break. The next exercise is very similar to the active wall sits we did earlier, but we're going to use the Swiss ball this time. So I'm going to show you one first. I'm going to move that out of the way. Now, if you don't have a Swiss ball, that's okay. Just skip over this exercise and join me in the next one. But if you do, this is a great way. This is really good. Again, we're, these are progressive leg exercises. So we're working on building that lower body strength. And we're also working on balance too. If you have a strong, you know, if you've got strong legs, strong core, it all ties together to help improve your balance. Do these as slowly as you need to. So again, feel free to pause the video and just count out eight reps on your own. You don't, you're not obligated to follow me. Um, you may have to, I find a lot of times when I'm doing this exercise, I have to stop and adjust the ball because it does travel a little bit. So if you've not done this before, take your time. Here's what it looks like. I'm just going to fix this cord. So again, feet out a little bit. So you're on a little bit of an angle. You're not straight up and down. And you're resting against the ball. It, feel, it should feel really good just standing like this. And the ball is connected to the wall. And all we're going to do is bend those knees again. Come down and up. Just like we did against the wall. But now we've got the Swiss ball between us and the wall. So let's do eight. Here's one. Again, go as slowly as you need to. Stop as often as you need to. Rest as often as you need to. Here's two. And three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, 10 second rest before the last exercise. The last exercise in this sequence is clamshells. So I'm going to move the chair out of the way. Now, if depending on your leg strength, if you have a mini band, feel free to put a mini band around um, just above the knees. That's just going to add a little more resistance, which is going to help increase the strength building you're doing. But if you don't, that's fine. This is a great exercise to do with just your body weight because it's still going to work those leg muscles. So we're going to get down on the floor. Again, if you need support to get down on the floor safely, please ask somebody to help you. We're going to come down onto one side, resting on our forearm. Knees or legs are bent and stacked one above the other. And all we're going to do is open and close slowly. We're going to do eight. Okay, that's one, two, three. This also gets a bit of core, too. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. Okay, so we've done one side. We need to flip over and do the other side. For the other side, I'm going to show you what it would look like if you have a band or when you get to where you feel strong enough that you want to add more resistance. You're going to bring this to above the knees, just like that. Same position, resting on the forearm, legs bent and stacked. Same movement and just more resistance. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, take your rest. Thank you for joining me in that workout. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you start to incorporate 
incorporate that more regularly throughout your week. Again, depending on the intensity or the severity of the stroke you had and where you're at in your recovery, once through might be all you get to. And it may take you a little more time. Again, I went through those for the sake of doing the video, but please, by all means, stop when you need to, rest when you need to, and just get through it at your pace. It's very important that you start with where you're at, working up from there, because by doing these regularly, you will start to build that strength. You'll start to feel stronger and more confident. Now, if you like these exercises and you want more exercises to do to help in your recovery, please check that pink comment below. This is our neural balance therapy program. It is absolutely fantastic. That's really the only word I have other than spectacular and amazing. This is phenomenal in the work it can do in helping you to really strengthen those messages from the brain into your body to help improve your balance, your range of motion, your mobility, and your, you know, how you move confidently and securely in your environment. So please check out that pinned comment, click the link. It's going to take you to a page. You can read all about it, read the testimonials and just see how many thousands of people this program is literally changed their lives. I'm coach Tanya. Thank you for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up just makes me feel good. And don't forget to click that subscription button and that notification bell so you never miss any of our great video content. Be healthy, be well, and I'll see you soon.